Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about how to copy data from one CSV source file to CSV destination file and also how to interchange the data. Okay. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of SSIS from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions and real time project explanation with scenario based and much more updated in this channel. So if you follow my classes from class one, you will definitely will get the job and also easily survive in the real time environment. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to interchange columns data in destination CSV file. In previous session already we explained how to copy data from one CSV file to another CSV file. Okay. In this scenario what we are going to learn is load data from CSV source file to CSV destination file and also interchange columns data in the destination file. So this last part we have to take a look. Okay. Don't worry. So I will explain once again. So open visual studio. So already we created project right. So first we have created the project inside the project we created the package right okay so this is the project demo project yeah preparing solution okay so already we created light scenario load data from source to destination right so if you are watching first time my video please check class number three in the class number three already we explained the steps everything right so now what we have to do so come here in the source file open the source file yeah so now i want to do something okay so here employee number is there right in the employee number we have the numbers data so here employee name is there here name is there for example, I want to interchange, right? Interchange means, for example, in, in in employee number, I want to come name here, okay? So in the name, I want to uh, change the data. This number I have to move here, right? So I want to interchange the data, columns data. That is what my scenario. So let me open a destination file as well. Yeah, in destination file, already it is there. Just remove it. Remove save it make it blank so close it so close it we have to close the files again check it yes nothing is there right okay come here come to the data flow where i want to change the data in the destination file i want to change the data so what you have to do you have to double click on me so this is the connection manager okay coming to the mapping in the mapping we can able to change yes already they done right so if you want to change again you just drag and drop that's it okay so in place of employee uh, in the source file it is employee number but in destination file it should be comes under employee name that is what my uh, scenario now just drag and drop yes so in, in source file it is employee name in destination file i want to uh, that data in the employee number reverse just drag and drop that's it so mapping is done so how we have done the mapping like that data will come okay so mapping is done so after done just click on okay yes now what you have to do you have to start the package that's it you don't need to do anything yes 14 rows right so you can able to see in the green color tick marks so data is copied from source file to destination file okay now come here now let me open uh, yeah first open the source file yeah in the source file employee number yes employee number is there so under employee name name is there so what i want in reverse order right okay so now interchange the data right now open the destination as well see this in the destination it is opposite in employee number you can able to see the name in employee name you can able to see the number right so we interchange the 
data this is the scenario so such kind of scenarios you have to handle like this okay this is also one of the important scenario okay that's the reason why i explained okay so thank you for watching my video if anybody wants special training on sss you can email to this email or you can directly call to this mobile number so my whatsapp number also same number okay thank you for watching my video